Hi, in this problem we're going to approximate the change in z, which is delta z, of this function as x, y changes from 0, 0 to 0 0.1 comma negative 0 0.05. To do that we're going to use something called the differential or the total differential. So the change in z, delta z, can be approximated by dz. And dz is given by the following, it's the partial of f with respect to x at xy dx plus the partial of f with respect to y at xy dy. So before we do this uh, problem, let's go ahead and find the partials. So let's find the partial of f with respect to x. So in this problem, this is our f. And when we're finding partials, with respect to x, we treat all of the other variables as constants. So all of the y's are constants. So we're taking the derivative of this. So there's a chain rule involved. The derivative of e to the x is e to the x. So we just leave it like this, e to the x plus y, leave the inside untouched, and then multiply by the derivative of the inside function. The inside function is x plus y. The derivative of x is one. The derivative of y is zero, so we just get one. Again, y is a constant when we're computing a partial with respect to y. That's why its derivative is zero. Likewise, fy is the partial with respect to y. Same thing, we take the derivative of the outside, we leave the inside untouched, times the derivative of the inside. Because we're computing the partial with respect to y, the derivative of x is zero, and then the derivative of y here is one. So this is e to the x plus y. Let's go ahead and plug everything in here. So this will be e to the x plus y dx plus e to the x plus y dy. Okay, so now we're good to go. Now we just have to plug everything in. I should mention that the x and the y are zero, zero here. Really important, it's where you start always. This, is, this will be e to the zero, because zero plus zero is zero. And then dx is going to be this number minus this number. So in this case, it's 0 0.1 plus e to the zero. dy is going to be this number minus this number. Very important, in this case, there, it's zero, but like you had a number here, you know, there is some, some subtraction involved. So it's this minus this, so it becomes negative 0 0.05. This is one times 0 0.1 plus one times negative 0 0.05. So this is just 0 0.1 minus 0 0.05, which is just 0 0.05. Take 0 0.1 and you subtract half of that, you get half of that. And that would be the answer. That would be the approximation for the so change in Z. So it's approximately equal to Point zero five. I hope this video has helped. Good luck.